Welcome back to You Down, You Lose. Lucky Sevens and I are continuing our journey of playing every zombie map, but whoever goes down first loses. Make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Enough chit chat. It's hard to say what round you think you'll make it on Ascension because people call it like the easiest zombies map of all time, but that has not been my experience. I wouldn't say it's the easiest map of all time, but it is definitely easy. Um, and really it just comes down to the area with the first lunar land. Like that area just makes it easy as crap. Like it's one of the best training spots in zombies. Oh, no color. Shout out to colored blind people. Hey, yo, here we are. Imagine if that thing like would have hit me in the head and I would have died. The video would have been <laughs> over. I feel like that's what I'm going to worry about the most in here. Because I could see either one of us dying to that thing right now. For sure. Like that would be absolutely horrendous. And I remember... I remember when Ascension came out, how, how hype it was, how great it was. It's like Kino, like like I said, because I started with World at War, for me, even though I like Kino, you know, it just felt like Doris again. And like Ascension was when it, it felt like the maps were starting to get a little bit more innovative. A little it's bit like more a deviation from the, the formula. Back to formula. Back to formula. God, the, the monkeys were just so... Ugh, they, they bothered me so badly back then. They still bother me. I hate the monkeys. I hate the monkeys as well, but like, I've grown to kind of, I don't know, not be, not be too bothered by them anymore. Like, they're not as bad to deal with these days. That's as true. compared to back in the day, but. Yeah, that's fair. Now, even yeah, in my I, short, when I, I was talking monkeys, about the though, Black Ops maps, oh, even those monkeys. That's those what I'm those saying. monkeys, though, I'll, I'll still destroy them. Like, any day of the week. Like, I hate them. I'll, For I'll sure. punch them across the room. Absolutely. What's well, worse? Actually, this, this is a question that needs to be answered. What's worse, Ascension Monkeys or Shang Monkeys? Oh, yeah, I, I really despise either of them. Yeah. Like, I don't know you, what it is with BO1 and Monkeys sucking. Like, that's kind of, I, I don't like that. You know, I don't like, I like Monkeys. I like right? Monkey and, I, and Black I Ops like made monkeys. me hate Monkey. <laughs> And Black Ops made me hate Monk. Exactly. Like, what's up with that? Like, what yeah. you got against Monkey, Treyarch? This is hurtful. We doing Monkey like that. We got to return the Monkey. I would, however, say that I think I no. dislike the Shang Monkeys more. Like, it is really frustrating when an Ascension Monkey takes, like, your Quick Revive, for example. Especially on this game. Because if you have the right Gobble Gums on Black Ops 3, you can get your Quick Revive back. You say you like or hate them more in Shang. I, I hate the Shang Monkeys more. Interesting. I, I probably would say I hate the Ascension ones more, but the Shang ones are really close. They're really annoying. But I feel like most of the time, a power-up drops in Shang, or just in zombies in general, it's going to be close to you. Mm -hmm. Like, you have enough time to quickly get it if it's, like, a good one. But yeah, sometimes they can be really freaking annoying for, for sure, sure. But i don't know ascension monkeys i gotta go with them they're they're worse just by a little bit but this is risky knife maneuvers yes. so round three that's right oh my god i i was fully committing to a two hit knife right there Ooh. i almost died <laughs> oh no I because I didn't realize it was round three. I thought it was two. Yeah. Oh no. Normally oh, I'm that not been, like a knife that guy been besides like round one and two. Um, yeah. But recently I found myself, you know, trying to get as many points as possible and really relying on my knife a lot. I, it's I'm crazy a knife guy. because the amount of knives it takes from round three to four is the same. That is weird. Yeah, that is weird. And then it changes kind of as the rounds go up. And then if you're knifing at round five, okay, maybe get a good gun. But but it, it kind of messes you up when you're really trying to get as many points as possible. Like the amount of like you're yep. down to the tenth. Yeah, it, it kind of it weirds you out. I, I'm a knife guy. I got to be honest. Like I'll be knifing with a regular melee until like round seven sometimes and then i also like really like most of the time when i play i try to get like the bowie knife or the galvan knuckles as fast as possible because i just love that feeling of one hit knifing oh like true. on a later round that's a good point i wish that i almost got double like, swipe that was whoo. that would have been bad yeah i'll tell Damn. you what one thing like i know a lot again like we said a lot of people just absolutely dunk and whip and nay nay all over on freaking Alpha Omega. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, the Galva Knuckles and Alpha Omega hit different. Like That's th true. Those are, oh, you've those gotta be kidding great. me. I'm sick of this gun. I've gotten the G11 three times. <laughs> did, you, did you get the uh, G11 and five? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. The HK, I think the HK was the only one you got in five. Yeah, that's right. Because I died like right after. <laughs> 
Oh, the Matryoshkas. I have been criticized many a time on how I pronounce that word. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not correct. What, it, it, ma Matryoshka? Is that right? Yeah, that's, okay. that's it. Okay. I, I, I always like to say Matryoshka, I and so. I don't really know why. I it's just, it flows it. better. That's fair. I mean, you know, I, I can't critique anybody. I live in Louisiana. Yeah. You know? As a as an English native, I you know Matryoshka. That's that's the best you're getting from me, sir. I call them dolls. Yeah, that's, that's probably easier. easier. <laughs> it is indeed easier. I need to freaking get uh, a weapon because like right now I'm running around with no ammo in either of my guns. Oh, it's a little rough out here. You know, uh, the video may be on the line right now unless you can back me up. Oh, you called the Lunar Lander? Did I? We may we may need to take that. I thought you did. Oh, okay. It's a floating zombie body. Well, we need to get at those anyway, so might as well. Oi, calm we down, go. relax. Okay. Now right, the G11 honestly. ain't it. G11 ain't it. Oh, oh max ammo. Give me that. I gotta take it. Right, cool, cool. I'm back in the fight. It's perfect. It's perfect. 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 All right, we can take the lander right after the rounds over. The last guy, I bro. Okay, well he dead now. He dead now. You ready? Are you ready, kids? what uh william afton says in fnaf <laughs> oh yes right before he murders them. you must be well versed with the lore now are you well i mean honestly like playing the games hasn't really like improved my understanding <laughs> of the lore like Fair I, enough because i i watched them like a lot back in the day so i i already knew the lore like well before playing it i know that like now not a pro it, in it's it, kind of like, like I think Five Nights at Freddy's idea. had a had a pretty similar. How do you want to call it? Kind of like, like COD Zombies. Like, yeah, there was a it was story just kind in the of, beginning, and yeah, it kind of just developed. It was just as a game by Scott Cawthon, and he was like, "Yeah, it's a really fun game. It's kind of cheap. You should buy it." And then fans were like, "Well, what if there's a story here?" And just kind of made it up through yeah. the first or third HK. game. Maybe yeah, less sure. so in the third because. You know, but uh, the third is when the story actually really started to develop. That's right. Um, which I'm on the third now. I just upload my first video of it earlier. Oh, that's awesome. And I always like the third one the most out of the first four. I know that may be a hot take. I know a lot of people don't like it as much, but uh, I just remember it, it was always intriguing to me for whatever reason. Like, hey, that's fair. I thought it was I, the story stuff was very interesting because it's really starting to like get fleshed out. Um, you know, the gameplay seemed kind of different. Like, I like how in, in uh, FNAF 3, you kind of have to use the cams more. And also, you have more control over what you do. So, like, you can seal the vents. You can distract Springtrap with the Balloon Boy noises. Um, it just feels like there's a little bit more, like, power in the player's hands in that one, uh, which I prefer. And also, like I said, I prefer the, the fact that you have to actually use cams more because that's one thing that really bothers me with FNAF 1 and 2 is you pretty much just, like look at one cam. It's like, bro, oh, there's yeah. like 17 cams and the strat <laughs> is to look at one. Yeah. So like I, that always kind of irritated me a little bit. Like FNAF 2, literally the only cam you have to look at is the, the puppet one where you have to wind the music box. So I, I prefer... A lot of the mechanics more, at least right now in FNAF 3. That could change as I play it, um, but we'll see. Right on. But, and then FNAF 4, I'm going to be dreading because, my God, scary game. Yeah, FNAF 4 is... See, I have uh, a VR headset, and so yeah, I've played... played the... Yeah. I'm going to be covering that one in the series because I do have an Oculus Quest, too. That's awesome. I did buy it. Oh, I man. bought all it, the uh... games the other day. I, I don't think I've ever... I mean, I certainly have cried playing video games. Sometimes, you know, story gets emotional and whatnot. What a baby. I have, no, I, I, have ne <laughs> I have never cried from fear out of playing a horror game. If I'm too scared, I usually go, yep, yeah, enough of that, and just stop playing. But there's something Cry about... fear from Help Wanted? Yeah, that's right. I, I will say, like, I could see that. Because, I mean, just the idea of those animatronics being in front of you, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, just in your face... That does sound kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm, I can't wait to play that one. Like straight yeah. up, I just can't wait to play that because. And that's another thing that sucks about. Uh, well, not really sucks, but it's just it makes it even scarier about these games, is that in the later nights they are actually difficult and you actually have to pay attention and try, like pretty hard, on top of the fact that you're like terrified. That's right. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> what happened? I forgot that those dolls 
freaking do damage to you. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I dropped one and just took a beating, and I got to red, bro. I got to red screen, and I was like, please just act like nothing happened. And then a zombie came around the corner, and I couldn't spray, and he just freaking smacked me in the mouth. No. Oh my god, I forgot that they do that. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm big dumb. I'm too used to playing with PhD, bro. Yep, yep. That's it.